Hey guys, welcome to Chasing Movies today. I'm do Spider-Man movies here. Let's with Venom. Let's go. So I'm going to do a list with uh, lowest two eyes. The number eleven is Venom movie. The movie is okay. It's just fun entertainment movie to watch. My favorite part of the movie is Venom. I really like. I also like uh, Tom Hardy. You can see him is having a fun time playing this role. And the villain played by Zim Hanum. He was good until he got with uh, all the Venom unit. I think that was the name. He was very boring and random villain. Last art of the movie, the CGI was very messy. I like the scenes was the bike chasing scene. That was cool. And this movie also feels like an update movie from 2008, which is way better than the book. Curry scene was good with the uh, courage play by Woody. Number ten is Venom like big courage. The sequel goes to. Okay, I enjoyed then the first movie. It was all right. This movie, you know, how silly it is because we accept what happened in Venom One because we thought this would be a very serious movie, but it wasn't. Courage was great, played by Woody. It was amazing. I'm very worried about PG dotting, but they managed. The director they managed that. It was all right. My favorite part of the movie was Venom and Eddie. Tom, uh, Tom Hardy. I uh, see, GI was better. Action was way better than. Uh, Action was way better than the first movie. I really enjoyed this. It reminds me of I mean, the Spider-Man two and three, the final act of the movie, which is weird. And post credit scene was good. <laughs> That's the whole point. Watching the movie was the post credit scene, but it was all right. It was fun movie to enjoy. Nine places Spider-Man three. I will put in okay to your Spider-Man three. I really liked the movie. It's not that bad film. I just put. Lower because it is my favorite. I like first half of the movie. I like the Sandman story, and even though I didn't like the choice that they had to connect to the first movie, I hate the uh, I hate this movie because of Venom, because yeah, there's nothing to like the Venom at all, and the weird Peter Parker in the last half of the movie was weird. But we got we got great memes. Actually, the Sony for for signing me to do Venom. The movie was alright. This movie would be way better without a Venom. That'll be enjoyed. This would be in three point five stars. Yeah, that's I like. It was very boring, a little bit without Venom part. So that's why it's okay to your movie. It plays is far from home. Time I really enjoyed the movie. It was great. After End Game, now uh, Peter Parker deal with Tony Stark. There, Jay Colin as Mysterio was great. And um, this is fun movie. And uh, I didn't like uh, after jokes in the movie. Which kind of off? That's why it was fun movie, enjoyable, not that good film. Seventh is amazing Spiderman two. I really like this movie. I loved the suit, introduction with the music, theme song, and Spiderman by Arm Sumer, the best score ever. Even though I would say the best opening scene, but it wasn't opening because it was pure. Pago parents. Green Goblin was good in this movie, but it would be better if it was all a movie. It was they did not build up Ivy being Green Goblin, which is off. And it great talk on Jimmy Fox. It was great. I like the action between the team song was great, but I didn't like the talking, the singing in the team song. You know what I mean. But his motive was lame <laughs> because no one wishes about it and become villain. And I don't see the point of uh, Rhino. That last part, the actor was great, but they got wished in this movie. Seeing Matt Crawford, he was great. And Gigi, I was amazing. The score is amazing, as I mentioned. I'm Spider-Man or Dread Two Team Song. That's the one of the best score in Spider-Man franchise. Still, Sony, still the movie is still messy, but I, I really enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed them, uh, those movies like Spider-Man Three and Far From Home. I wish. Now we would see amazing Spider-Man three. Andy Garfield is one of my favorite Spider-Man movies. If Sony did not force to remove the footage or uh, redo, the movie would be great or uh, amazing. You never know. Six places amazing Spider-Man. This movie is so under it. Andy Garfield nailed it as Peter Parker as Spider-Man. It's perfect. And swing wing web scene is amazing. Chemistry between Emma Stone and Andy Garfield is 
amazing and better than I think one of the best chemistry in comic books movies ever in my opinion. The graphy is great. The villain was all right, but it could be better. But I enjoy it. The post credit scene was good. Uh, I forgot they were post credit scene and score is amazing, especially um, main team song Young Peter in the beginning. And I did not like I uh, like uh, Spiderman's storyline. Then we watched uh, Amazing Spiderman Two, is so annoying. But it was alright. Spiderman One, Spiderman movies almost perfect. Spy- uh, superhero movie. It's a great origin story. Perfectly piece, fantastic villain play by Billy before action was great. He was Billy uh, before I mentioned. Is the greatest villain. He was the one of the best performance. Suit was great, but his mask was off. Campion cheesing no moment for sure. Cool was great, especially team song in the beginning. The action was brutal and great. Toby was great as yeah, Spider-Man and Pika Parker. Oh, so fourth place is Homecoming, and it goes. Great here. Tom Allen the best combination of Peter Parker and Spider-Man. My cooking as watcher was amazing. I let a re- relationship with Peter and Ned together. Humor is great. Soundtrack is great. I love the twist. I like the first half of the movie. I love the second. I didn't like Spider-Man using a lot of AI. I like the movie. I enjoy. Third place is I had to choose between. I'm switching, switching. As right now, it is Spider-Man. Two. It is the. It has to be one of the best sequel comic books movie ever. The story about Peter Parker balancing a superhero and having a normal life. The villain, the gag is amazing, fantastic. The movie is a standoff because of the villain. Train scene was amazing. I loved the Easter egg and teasing new villains for the future semi movies, but. We won't see that coming. Go is great. Uh, second place is No Way Home. This has to be one of the best live action movie ever. I can't say anything because it's non spoilers. It's everything we need for in MC movies. Dominant Neil is one of the best performances I ever seen. Action was great. The, I like the message about almost perfect movie still i enjoy i love it first movie goes to fireman the spiders i love the movie i love everything perfectly well done all the characters perfectly balanced miles is great peter b parker is great gwen cc also great everyone everyone is great co is great i love the song sunflower kingpin was good i didn't like the design too but it was good everything is buffalo it's pg movie and still it has ma- managed to be fun and very serious at the same time which you never seen in anime movies ever. So I'm going to if my proper order as you see on my screen. Last place is Venom. Last second place is Venom. Let me call it Spider-Man 3. I prefer Amazing Spider-Man 2 than Far From Home. So sixth place is Amazing Spider-Man. Fifth one is Spider-Man 1. Fourth is Spider-Man Homecoming. Third is Spider-Man 2. Second is Spider-Man No Way Home. First is Spider-Man Into Spider-Verse. Do you agree with my tier list and the ranking? Let me know in the comments. I love to see your list. Let me know in the comments. I've seen Spider-Man No Way Home. What do you think about? Like this video. Describe the channel. See all the videos. Bye guys.